But as we left the studio after our last show and put on the radio in the car, Veronica and I were devastated to hear the news of the death of our much-loved singer-songwriter of the 70s, known simply as Melanie. Melanie Safka was the flower power iconic hippie who typified for us the whole peace and love generation of that era. So much so that on the morning of our daughter's birth in 1971, her intended name was changed to, yes, you've guessed it, (laughs) Melanie. Times proved this name change to be unfortunate, however, (laughs) as as our daughter Melanie... uh, Daughter Melanie has disclosed her dislike of the name and insists on being called Mel. So, Melanie, the iconic hippie singer-songwriter. The first time that I heard her sing, the first time I'd even heard of her, is a memory that remains fresh in my head and my mental ears. Listening to the radio one night in 1970, a sweet, almost childlike voice, plaintive, and so sincerely emotional enraptured me with its first few lines. Beautiful people, you live in the same world as I do, but somehow I never noticed you before today, I'm ashamed to say. I was caught. Hook, line and sinker, and I needed to know more and to hear more. Melanie's career-defining moment came at the renowned Woodstock Festival, August the 16th, 1969. As she performed her set, the heavens opened, and as the rain fell, hundreds of candle lights appeared throughout the crowds, glowing through the darkness of the summer night sky. It was a scene reenacted in countless musical concert, concerts throughout the world and throughout the years since. But this time with technological phone lights replacing those infinitely more moving candle flames. Melanie was inspired to pen one of her finest songs to honour and preserve that magical moment in time. The song's title, Lay Down, Candles in the Rain. Her music crossed a variety of genre, from the whimsical novelty of Alexander Beetle, who got mistaken for a match, through pop tunes like Brand New Key, cover versions of songs by Dylan, and even the brilliant cover of Jagger and Richard's composition, Ruby Tuesday. Her best work, however, was probably that within the folk tradition to which she brought a distinctive catalogue of gentle, philosophical and spiritual songs such as Peace Will Come, According to Plan. And... Also, dramatic, angst-filled lamentations like leftover wine and tuning my guitar. I saw Melanie live in concert just twice. In 1975, she toured the UK, where she performed in Manchester at King's Hall, Bellevue, just down the road from the studio here. However, my recollection is that she also did a more intimate gig. I think it was at the Hard Rock in Dedsbury, And that's where I saw her. I found no confirmation of this uh, event having taken place, so I wonder if anybody does recall it. If so, I'd really appreciate your getting in touch on our email or Facebook. That show ended with lots of Melanie's fans spontaneously joining her on stage, quietly and adoringly sitting around her as she continued to play and sing. The second concert I attended was at the Bridgewater Hall, 25th of September 2007. A nostalgic evening of mainly audience requested songs, with Melanie bravely, but somewhat sadly, doing her best to be the same flower power hippie of yesteryear. The songs were the same, the caftan and beads remained, but the flower was unfortunately jaded and struggling to maintain the vibrancy of the youthful girl of 1975. Melanie, we loved you then. We love you still. And we'll miss you now that you're gone. So, thank you for the music that you've left for us. Peace will come, you began to sing all those years ago. And now we pray 
that peace has indeed come to you.